This researcher has just found a brutally damaged skeleton, but it didn't take him long to figure out what the grisly method of torture was that ended his life. Do you know about the wheel of torture? The bones of his arms and legs had been severed, his face smashed, his spine had a puncture wound, and his skull had been fractured. To go through this, he had to commit a terrible crime, for not everyone was forced to suffer the infernal wheel. They call it Catherine's Wheel, after the martyr Catherine of Alexandria. As the story goes, she had converted to Christianity and had the bad idea of confronting Emperor Maxentius. The Roman tried to beat Catherine in several trials, but she not only won, she also converted his wife. Maxentius then had Catherine tortured using a machine made of wheels with blades, but when the wheels touched Catherine, they broke. Despite her luck, Maxentius used another method that did work. So how did the wheel work? It was made of wood, like those used in carriages. Sometimes its rims were lined with metal, and occasionally blades were added to the sides. The first step was to tie the person to the floor and separate their limbs. Then the executioner would break the legs and arms with the wheel. In order to speed up the process, pieces of sharpened wood were placed under the person's limbs. At other times, the person who was tied to the wheel would receive blows from hammers and bars to their arms and legs. The idea was not for them to perish in the process because the torture had to continue. Since the bones were broken, the person could be braided on the wheel. They would then be hung on a pole where the tortured person could spend days in agony. There are documented cases where the condemned person spent four days and nights enduring the pain of this torment. Finally, the body was left out in the open for the animals to eat the remains as a way of sending a message. The only way to escape this sentence was for the wheel to be dislodged or to fall off the pedestal. This was taken as a divine message and forgiveness was granted to the condemned. Now, the wheel was sometimes implemented in another way. By tying the person to the rim and spinning them over a bonfire. Its last use was during the 19th century, when this horrible punishment still existed in Prussia. Fortunately, this barbarity is no longer practiced today 